All right, so as a lot of you know, I'm hurt right now, but this channel can't be just about a darn pinky. So let's get on to some more important things, and that is a question that I got from one of you guys the other day about the Green Giants, and I want to answer that question now. I actually wanted to answer it days ago, and then this happened, but let's get on with it. So this question is from Michael Collins. And he said, this is in regard to the Green Giants, he asked it on the Green Giant video, do you find that they reestablish a central leader easily? And I can really appreciate that question. I wrote that question down and wanted to answer it specifically because I had that same exact question when it came to the Green Giants because they seem to start growing and then the, the little leader flops over. And then another little leader established and it flops over. And in the beginning, when I first started doing these Green Giants, we're going to take a look at them here in a second, I would prop them up with a stick and try to hold them straight up. And that's the wrong thing to do, guys. But I want to answer your question right now, Michael. Yes, they do establish a central leader relatively quickly let's take a look at these guys right now all right so here's all the green giants that these guys right here this whole entire batch were in this tote and then this spring i potted them up and i took more cuttings and i put them in here and i think i've got a video about that actually i do about a month or two ago and you can see these cuttings that i just took a few months ago they're already starting to root look at all those look at all those roots guys all just going all over along the edge, just pouring out everywhere. They're all over the place. These things are rooting like crazy. And just maybe a week ago, I threw some four months slow release fertilizer, just a light coating. I just barely sprinkled some over the top. I've been watering. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask, so I'm gonna tell you there are no holes in the bottom of this tote. And there probably should be. The reason is, no, I'm not lazy. I just, I, sometimes I just, I want to, I want to get it done. So I just do it right now. I didn't have time to put holes in the tote. I just stuck the cuttings, guys. So anyway, they don't, this one does not have holes in the bottom. So I just am very careful. It, they should have them, but I'm very careful about how much I water. So I don't overwater them and they're doing just fine. I did this last year too. It's not a problem. And anyway, you can see they're doing fine. We're already starting to get some new green growth and they're starting to pop up. Now these guys don't have little central leaders yet. I guess maybe that'll be a central leader. We'll see what happens, but not all of them are going yet, but by the end of summer, these guys will be doing really well and they'll be growing tons more roots than they even have now. So there's like, I don't know, 60 or 70 more in that little tote. Now, these were the ones that I took last year and they were in the same setup and I pulled them out of here a couple months ago, put them into pots and look how much green growth they're already putting on. All this green growth is new. All of this has happened in one year. And you can see when you put the fertilizer and water to these guys, they take off like crazy. But to get back to Michael's question, do they establish a central leader easy? Well, let's just take a look at a few of them. So here's one. Now I wanna show you this. I've been watching these guys very steadily over the last couple months since I potted them up. This right here, this branch, see, let's pull this out of here. Let's just take this guy out. Let's put him up on our bench. I don't break my back. Uh, this guy right here, this was the cutting. You can see where I initially cut these guys off. And this right here was starting to shoot up and it's starting to flop over. And other little parts of the branches in there were sending up little shoots that are flopping over. Kind of like this guy right here. See this? It's sending up multiple little shoots and a lot of those won't become the central leaders. They'll just flop over and become branches. But the one thing I've noticed with these guys is in the beginning they do that. And like I said, I would prop it up at first like this and try to make sure that, oh no, I want this thing going straight up. Why is it flopping over? But that's how they grow. That first one that starts shooting up will flop over and that's what I'm finding. And then look, we're only a couple months into it. All this is new growth in the last couple months, all of that. And it's flopped over and it's already just in the last probably week established that new central leader. And this will probably flop over and this may become the central leader that takes off and does something or it may not. I found that with some of these guys. Some of them just maybe that'll flop over. Maybe a new little central leader will reappear. But eventually you'll start to see the plant form and emerge as it grows. So let's get this little guy back and look at another one here. Sometimes, and they all grow a little bit different even though they all come from the same plants, but this one right here, 
more branches just flopping over it grew and then it flopped over and these will become the side branches and then as it's growing it's finally starting to find its way and there's a central leader and like i said to answer michael's question yes they do establish a central leader relatively quickly and i guess the 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 key component to that that i want you to hear is they establish a central leader not you i tried to make it establish the leader i wanted it to and it you don't need to deal with it it'll take care of all that all on its own it's going to grow the way it naturally was intended to grow and the genetics in it are already coded for whatever it's going to do here's a lot of little central leaders look at this it's establishing one right here it's establishing one here and like i said all of this is all new growth since we just potted these guys up all this is new growth and this has all happened in the last couple months so it happens quick all this black the black pots that you see filled out throughout here it'll be filled in with green you won't even hardly see those black pots by the end of summer so I hope that answers your question, Michael. I've been wanting to answer that question for like a week now, but like I said, I've been a little down for the count, but there it is. Don't mess with those plants. Just get them propagated. It, like I showed you in the video, I did it again a couple months ago, put the video up, and I've got another one from the year before, but just copy that method. In the late winter, early spring, get the cuttings stuck, leave them in there for an entire year, pot them up in the spring again, and then just put them in pots and just let them go. Put them somewhere in a shady area. Uh, you don't want them in direct sun when they're so young and tender. Put them in somewhere that's getting a little bit more shade and fertilize and water the heck out of them through the summer and they will establish their own central leader. They'll do it very quickly. The one caveat is these things are very deer resistant However, they're not deer proof, I'm finding. And the deer are not eating mine out on the landscape. However, they do occasionally come through and they'll nibble, they'll just nip the top of one of them. And I've got several that have done that and it sets them back a little bit. They have to reestablish a new central leader. So I'm just, these things are growing fast though. And what I'm hoping for is that they put on enough growth over time that they can just beat out the deer the deer just can't keep up with them eventually those tops will be taller than the deer can reach and maybe it'll nibble on a branch or two here and there but they are not demolishing the plants by any means they're not tearing them up they're just they'll walk up to it take one little bite off of something and then walk away so they're very deer resistant but they're not deer proof so once they establish those leaders you might want to spray with some kind of a deer off kind of spray or something like that for the first couple years until those central leaders get up taller than the deer can reach if you have a lot of deer in your area so anyway i hope that answers your question hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button subscribe if you want to follow along hit the bell notification guys and you'll get notifications of all these videos i hope you have a fantastic week and i'll see you in the next video adios